Hello, it's Chill Cooking here, doing a Chill Gong Fu session. Today we're going to be, well I am, going to be tasting the uh, May Leafs Ali Shan Jinlan. Uh, it, it's their uh, mil, uh, Jadu Long, it's a milk oolong. The, uh, the, the non-flavored one that they have. Got a uh, 60 mil guy one here, just bold water. And... Yeah. That'll wash. Here, I'm gonna. Mmm, the aroma. The aroma that this gives off is just. Mmm, so good. So milky. Like, milky taste. Like a uh, malty milk. Mmm. This, uh, the smell is really good on the first and uh, after the wash and the second uh, in the first infusion the smell of the leaf the wet leaf oh, I should have said the uh, the smell of the dry leaf I've had this a lot so um the smell of the dry leaf is like uh, animal crackers how they smell it's it's pretty pleasant uh, but I think the smell after it's wet is just just mm, so much better. I'm drinking the wash because I'm a because I like the wash. You can see my setup here is the same as before, it's just in a different location. Outside, we're in a little cabana hut thing right now. Um, it's pretty. It's a very pleasant area. It it blocks wind. There's a net, and it's all on on all four corners, and it blocks the wind. So it's a uh, it's pretty nice for when you're drinking something hot or or anything. So this, um, I'm using about three and three point six or three point seven. I think uh, I didn't have a grant out of scale today. I left it. So um, there's only there's about three or three to four grams of tea in this sixty mil gaiwan. Same setup as before. It's eighty mil cup, sixty mil gaiwan. Normal uh, kettle again. May, uh, yeah, May Leaf. They, uh, the description they give on the, it's very accurate to the, how it tastes and smells and all that. They spelled it wrong on the back. This is, says Ali Sham Cream on the back, but it says Ali Sham Cream on the front. It's weird. It's just a typo, probably. You get, uh, quite a bit more information on how to brew your stuff with May Leaf. And uh, I don't know how uh, how this is compared to the other Jadu Longs. This is the only um, this is the only uh, Ali Shan Jingwan I've tried, but I think it's very good. I think it's very delicious. All right, first confusion. No filter again because I like the taste of it without. Very nice to drink tea when outside when it's nice and cold, but not too cold because then you need some sort of thing. I'm not counting, but I'm gonna do around 20 seconds. Maybe I can keep track of the infusions this time. Ow. <clears throat> Nice greenish gold color it produces. And the first two or three infusions are just so good on this one. Mm, even the smell of the, the, just the tea itself is just really good. Mmm. It's so much bolder and deep. It's just, uh, it's a nice deep multi milk really good flavor it's <laughs> mm. yeah this tea is just delicious it's I think uh, 56 dollars USD uh, for 300 grams which so I mean you know it's it's a pretty okay price it's a bit overpriced but it's pretty good like you know Mayleaf their stuff is a little bit overpriced but they do sell good tea Mm. 
they're uh, simplistic instructions on the back. It's 20 seconds and then 5 seconds on each infusion, but it, it that's pretty close. That's pretty accurate, but I don't think you should add 5 seconds after the 4th or 5th. I think after the 5th one, you shouldn't add 5 seconds afterwards. Just a couple more seconds each time. But then you can ramp it up, like on the 8th infusion. Mm, but the first and second infusions are definitely my favorite. It's so bold and milky, uh, malty. It's just, oh. Let me see that. So this was a spring 2018. I don't know what flush it was on. Uh, third or fourth leaf, you know, oolong. Uh, elevation 1400 meters. Uh, Alishan uh, Chile, Taiwan. You know, Alishan. Uh, cultivar Jean Wan, uh, Jean, Jean, I don't know how to say it, but it's Jean Wan. You know how to probably say it. Yeah. Ball rolled, as everyone probably knows, ball rolled. It's good. It's good. So, uh, mm. like, after the, uh, after the wash, it smells like real good, like, I can't explain it. It's really good, but then after the, after the first infusion, it smells a bit more leveled out compared to that one, it's kind of piercing, but it's at a lower level. Mm. Then the smell after the uh, second infusion is just, I'll see, I know how it smells, but I'll see you then. In the moment, how it smell, smells to me. I love how ball rolling longs uh, unroll just from pouring water over them. I, I mean, that's a small thing, but I just really like it. Gonna be buying, getting more tea for Christmas. Um, I found uh, on Yunnan Sourcing, US, or not even US, the other one, just the normal one, uh, they have some pretty. I guess cheaper options for uh, for Yixing clay, and that guy who recommended uh, the, to get a Yixing clay, I've been wanting to. It's just pretty expensive, but and I'm I'm kind of skeptical about the ones on Yunnan sourcing, the normal one, but it seems that they're pretty good. I, I did some research on Reddit and stuff, and most people say that they're uh, pretty good. They're a younger person sculpting the the teapots so they don't charge as much and they're mostly about the learning of it so uh, you know I think they're half handmade as it says on the website and they're they're pretty cheap um, I, I still don't know if I should get one or not because he recommended the Mayleaf one which I've been looking at but it's 200 milliliters that's just a, a bit big for me like I'd prefer like 100 mil or so like I know they're supposed to be a bit bigger but I just like smaller sessions like this so I can have a couple a day instead of having just one large session. So much background noise all around. No, sorry for that. It's much more quiet at, my, at the other place, but it's just, you know, I needed to make a video. I, I haven't uploaded in like a week. My Well, I mean, except for my last video, but I haven't uploaded in like a week and I just feel like that's not, uh, you know, I shouldn't take that long to upload. Just, we didn't, we weren't cooking anything in that period, so I just didn't have any time to do it. But I will be uploading more videos soon. I have a, plans to do a gumbo episode. That might be a, a while, though. Um, I have Cajun history, so I can, so I, I, I my grandparents, I'm gonna learn how to make it for my grandparents, which I still kind of do, but I wanna get a refresh and a new recipe and then I want to uh, after I know how to do it I want to try it again like a couple of days or a week after that time because I mean you yeah mm. that was the second yeah mm. I love the second infusion so much deeper than the first like so much richer mm. it's like a thick lubricating coat all around your mouth just so much so much more uh sa savory i guess savory malt 
Yeah, I definitely like this tea more than uh, the last tea I tasted. But I mean, I mean, I haven't aged it to spring yet, which, which I'm gonna be doing another tasting then because of uh, aging. But I haven't aged that one yet to what it said, and it said it was very bitter in the beginning. So, you know, when it's uh, new, it said it should be aged two to four years. So, um, I'm gonna be. I like this one more, but whenever that, uh, I'll see how it compares. I know these aren't supposed to be compared because they're completely different in all ways, but I, I, st I like this one more as it is now. Oh, we'll just see. Mm, the second, the second infusion tastes like how the first, like, like how it smell, how the wash, after the wash, how the leaves smell. That's how the second infusion tastes. Which you wouldn't even know unless you've tasted it, but... Oop. Spilled. Pretty cold here. But it's not, it's not that bad. It's not even close to what some people might call cold normally, but... It's cold for me, so... Background noise, again. Yeah, I haven't uploaded in over a week, which is, you know, I feel guilty for. But I want to do more uh, soon. I have a... I don't think I'm going to do that one, but I'm going to do... I was going to sous vide some steaks, but... We didn't get the right steaks. Well, the ones I wanted to use. So I can't... I, I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Which, you know... That sucks. But I do have uh, plans to see these steaks sometime. I just, we just don't have, we're supposed to do them soon, but nope. So, so then after that we had gum, gumbo, uh, gumbo, and then, I don't, know, don't remember. burnt my finger a little bit. Yeah, Christmas. I'm going to get a lot of tea. I got tea lined up that they're, uh, that I'm going to get. I'm going to get like two or three cakes and uh, some aged cakes this time so it would be better for tasting. Um, I'm going to get a couple cakes. I'm going to get um, some Dragon Well. Some uh, green tea, dragon well. That'll be really nice. Um, gonna get another guy one because I broke the lid to the other one. So, well, uh, the the cakes I'm getting, I'm getting one aged, uh, two aged, I think. Yeah, no, one aged and one uh, uh, one slightly aged. Uh, Impression, which is a blend of like multiple teas from the uh, from the year. I think it's the 2012 impression cake. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be getting those. Mm. Even the third infusion, the third infusion is just not as good as the second or first, but it's still real good. Like, mm. I don't know if I could give this on a scale, but definitely you buy this and the first. Four or five infusions are definitely the best. It drops from there, but not too much, and then it drops after. Like you, it's not milky at all at nine. Well, at ten, at nine, it's still milky, a little bit, but not as much. Not even close to now in the meeting and uh, the sixth one, and so. Mm. Mm. Don't like uh, drinking outside um, compared to inside. Well, there's more more noise inside. Well, I do love drinking outside. Lo drinking outside is very nice, very relaxing and peaceful. But uh, but you can't boil the water out here for reasons I already talked about. Um, mm. Mm. It kind of coats your mouth, coats your the top of your mouth and it's just like a nice little oily blanket but it's not it's not oily but it's just an it's like you know oil coats your mouth 
but it's like uh it's just that taste of the tea all around mm. it's good I don't even know if you can hear the background noise from how far away it is, I guess. It's not too far away, but I mean, like, I wonder if the camera, I mean, the the speakers will be able to pick up on it. Yeah. Mm. Don't know what to talk about. I had much more to talk about than I thought, but I guess I don't. I always overfill and it just pours out to the side. Cause I'm a uh, owl. I shouldn't overfill like that. It's not good. Glad this little cheap wood can pick it up. They spill all over the place. It's too bad I don't have a tea tray, though. I, I have one in mind, but I don't think I'll get it till a very long time. Hmm. Mm. Still real good. This tea, to me, I think would be uh, 8.7 for me. It's just real delicious. 8.7, maybe a 9. Nah, not a 9. 8.8, 8. yeah. 8.8. That's what I think of this tea, at least. It's a bit of a lighter tea than the other tea, which is, you know... You know it, as you want. As you wish. It's a bit more medium or light. Some people don't like that, but I, I, li I like medium teas that are... This one is a light tea, but it's very good, very flavorful in terms of surroundingness. Sorry. Hard to explain teas. You have to taste the tea to truly know what it is like to understand it. Understand what they're saying. Always spill. Mm. Generally, I like oolongs and pours because you can uh, you can you can use boiling water with them, and they they're real they're still good. Like they won't be too bitter if you use boiling. Or similar water because it says it says 205 Fahrenheit for uh, this tea which is you know standard for oolongs mostly for the most part and like even with boiling water it doesn't uh, hurt it too bad like it would if it was a green tea or so I like uh, that the tea the water getting colder Probably need to reboil soon. What are we on? Six? I think this is the sixth one. Yeah. Taking longer to steep because the water is getting colder. Yeah, Mayleaf is a pretty good. It, they introduced me to tea. Um, well, real tea, gong fu tea, uh, initially. So I, I like that there's a, a channel showing how to brew gong fu tea and stuff. Even if their tea is a bit overpriced, they uh, kind of make up for it because they teach people how to make the tea and all that. And uh, their tea is really good, regardless of how much it's priced at. It's still real good tea. But uh, most, uh, but but you can b find a cheaper version of most of their tea that's of kind of the same quality on other websites. Like I was recommended to get Dragonwell from Union Sourcing, so that's what I'm doing. Um, even though I'm sure their dragon mill is delicious, but 
I need a cheaper version of it because I want to buy a lot more tea. And I need money to do that. I'm going to go reboil this water after I drink this. Six infusion, I think. Made like a counter thing or like a grid. <clears throat> All right, I just reboiled the water because it was getting pretty cold. It was getting pretty cold. Because, you know. Sorry, my hair isn't fixed. I'm sure y'all don't care at all if I'm talking to anyone. If I'm talking to anyone, then y'all don't care at all, probably. But I kind of care, but I don't care enough to do anything about it, so. Yeah. Lazy video yesterday, uploading how to combine the five elements of ramen. Didn't even get that good at toppings. I was gonna do some eggs, but I just didn't have time to do it, and I was just hungry, so I decided to video it, you know. I wanted a video at that time because I haven't uploaded in a week but I didn't really put too much work into it I was just hungry I had all the elements there just videoed combining them and it was very it was very good I mean Shio Tare with Tori Chimpan is kind of bland I mean not bland but kind of boring in terms of complexity of flavor it isn't the most complex flavors I could have combined, like I could have used a shoyu tare and that would have been way better, but I just made a shio tare because my mom doesn't like eating soy sauce for no reason, so I, so I made shio tare, I'll probably make a shoyu tare or a miso tare sometime, sometime soon, that'd be pretty good, <laughs> since I'm sending this to r slash t and r slash uh, nobody is going to even know what I'm talking about, unless they ramen and tea which is probably not the most common thing or if you're just watching this because you I doubt anybody's gonna watch this if they're just subscribed because they like, nobody's even subscribed to me really no one else other than uh, jug pan and JJ, but I doubt JJ is going to watch in this far. He he probably doesn't even watch most of my videos. He's probably subscribed for the ramen videos. And this is a pretty long video, so I doubt he would uh he would uh, watch this far into the video about something he probably doesn't even do. Tea. Yeah, that's the weird thing about doing tea videos and doing cooking videos is. If they subscribe, they're only subscribed for like one of those reasons. So they won't even need to know the other reason. They won't even probably watch the other reason. I don't really know why I'm making videos at all. I guess I just want to show... I just want to I, I cook, I guess. I enjoy the tea videos, but I know I'm not going to get big from tea videos. The largest tea uh, channel is May Leaf, and they're only at 50,000, which is a huge number, don't get me wrong, but that's the maximum. That's like the cap until somebody overtakes them, which I doubt anyone will. The second subscribed is probably Yunnan Sourcing or that other one, the one where they taste teas, um, and tell you tips on how to store brewer and all that. I don't remember what it's called, but that channel's called. That was seven, I think. So, on to eight. This tea is, a. Uh, it's still pretty, uh, strong. It's not on the level of one, two, and three, one, two, three, and four, but it's still very, uh, multi, still very good. But eight. I think, uh, they say you can do it in nine. I think you can do it at ten if you use freshly boiled water on the tenth infusion, like fully boiled. Then you can push it a little bit, but it's still not really as good as even the ninth one, the previous one. It really drops after nine, unless you do the 212 boiling water. No, 
no scale means you probably will add more leaf than you need. But that always makes it better. But that, but adding more leaf always makes it better. Even if it'll barely fit into your gaiwan. Always makes it taste a little bit richer and thicker and more flavorful. Don't know how much time that was. But reboiling the water gets the tea way better. Like, I was probably using, you know, I think I already talked about this on the other one, but on the other video, but 160 or so. And it just doesn't, it's not even close to if you reboil it. Mm. All, uh, the gra grassiness is starting to kick in now, but it's very light. It's in the background. Like, you still taste that maltiness, but it's like a layer over the grassiness. But the grassiness is very light. Which, at the end of this tea, it'll taste all grassy. Just completely grass, nothing else. Well, like fresh grass. Which, if you're looking for that, I guess, is okay. But it's not what this tea's about, I guess. This tea's about maltiness, and it's very good. The maltiness is so good. Well, milky maltiness. Thickness. Mm. I drank that one pretty fast. That was weird. Why do I keep doing that? Why 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 do I keep doing that? I'm gonna push that water out. There we go. Yes, I know. I'm a freak. I drink it out of the what is what is it even called? Like the 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 plate of the Kaiwan? I don't know. I drink it out of the plate of the Kaiwan. I know. When you ever fill. It tastes mostly like water. But you get a little bit. A little bit of a taste. It's like if the wash was even lighter. <laughs> yeah, this tea's a... Uh, what is it called? Rebrewability? Infusion. The amount of infusions you can get out of this tea is much less than normal pours and stuff, but I I think it's worth it a little bit because this like you don't need to age these teas, you know, unlike pours, which you don't need to age some pours. But um, the pour I bought, I didn't know should have been. Well, I mean, I did know it should be aged, but I knew it was a pretty fast age process, so I thought it was okay, and it will be okay whenever it gets to uh, May. I think I'm going to do a tasting from either May or June, and it'll be uh, pretty nice then. Well, May's a, excuse me, May's a little bit into summer, but it says to age it until uh, the spring, which, well, not the spring, that's when it was picked, and then you should age it for that long. So I guess uh, summer. So I'll be doing a tasting in May, that tea, and I'll hope it'll taste a lot less bitter. That's what it said. It said it was a very fast age, two, two or four years. So... That'll be good. I know I'm probably repeating myself a little bit because I don't know, I don't really have too many topics to talk about while I'm waiting for this tea to steep. Mm. You get to smell a bit of the grassiness now. Like, the smell after the fourth or so infusion, the third infusion or so, the smell isn't the best. Like, you smell on after the wash, first, second, and third infusion, it's just really good. But then it's like, this smells okay now. It's not as just next level as uh, those in previous infusions. Mm, it's still good. It's got the grassiness. I think this was the ninth infusion. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna steep this for a very long time and just hope that'll work. Spilled everywhere. That's fine.
don't have any chi chongs. What are those called? Chi chopsticks, whatever those are called. I don't have any of those, so I'm not all fancy. I guess you don't need to be fancy to have a tea session. Just nice to have a nice little quick, you know, not a quick, but a relaxed session like this outside with a bunch of background noise. Yep, that grassiness is pretty much level with the maltiness now, the milkiness. Definitely not as enjoyable as uh, the medium infusions or the first, the first or second infusion, not the second. I categorize this tea into three parts. The first, uh, the first part is the one, two, three, and fourth infusion, and those are just mm, milky maltiness. Then background noise. Then I categorize it into the second stage, which is the the grassy undertones, the lightness, light grassiness with all the within uh, with a little bit diminished milkiness from the last, but it's still really milky. And then the last two or so infusions, it's a uh, medium grass with medium malt. And then the tenth infusion is just a lot of grass with a low malt. And then after that, it's all grass. I have a chart um, of ex my, my notes on the tea that I think I'll throw up on the screen right now. And you can see from that 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 tea, uh, how, I, how I think of the tea. I wrote those notes probably a couple weeks ago. I've had this tea for a very long time. I've been drinking it. I barely have any left. There's 300 grams of this. I think I only got a couple more steeps out of it. Like, a couple more sessions with it. Probably only, um... Probably only about uh, five or so more sessions with it. Then it'll be gone. Then it'll be all gone. Which is sad. So I wanted to make a video on it before I ran out of it. Because after I run out of it, I'd have to order more to do a video on it. So I've had a lot of time to really appreciate this tea, um, really taste it and get an, and experiment with it, and um, it's very good. I do recommend it, but it, it's a bit overpriced. I, I would like to know how the uh, how Taiwan Taiwan sourcing's uh, Jade Oolong tastes to this one, the Alishan one they sell. I would really like to know the difference between that. I feel like I should buy it, you know, to compare. Maybe I should save a. Uh, one session of this tea and then compare it like back to back with the 60 mil guy one to see the difference I think I'll do that um, although it would be hard not to drink it nah it won't be that hard but you know it's good it's good tea I tried asking on one of uh, Taiwan Sourcing's live streams how it compared to their uh, their Alishan, and he said he didn't taste it. You know the the guy the the guy who does the live streams on Taiwan Sourcing. He said he's never tasted uh, May Leafs before, and uh, so he had, he doesn't know the comparison. You know, obviously you can do whatever you want with your tea, but you could drink it a bit after if you wanted. But it's just not it's not what it, the tea's about. I guess it's completely just flat, all grass. Yep, I got low maltiness and high grassiness, and that's how long I steeped it for. And I get some bitterness, uh, astringency too. Very light. Even if you brew this tea hard, though, in the earlier infusions, it still doesn't have much astringency. You can barely tell, even if you brew it really hard. That's a that's that's a good thing. Mm. All right, I think I'll end it there. Um, chill gong fu out. Gonna be doing more cooking videos soon. Johnny, bye bye.